Here are nine tips to help you stay on track with your fitness, your training, and frankly, your body size and shape during the holiday season. And be sure to stick around for tip number nine. I've got a little treat for you there. Tip number one, be prepared. What I like to do is to plan ahead for holiday parties or holiday dinners or get togethers. So I'll borrow calories from my breakfast or borrow calories for lunch to save them for that evening indulgent party. Another thing that I'll try to do is I'll try to make sure that I don't go to that party or that festivity hungry. So I'll have a well-rounded meal before I go. So when I arrive, I'm not hungry and I can just dabble in a couple of the treats while I'm there without feeling like I'm having to feed myself. And in a worst case scenario, maybe I'll take my own food to a gathering. I don't think I've ever done anything like that, but if I just had no other option, I could do that. And if I were to do that, I would tell the host or wherever I'm at, I'd say, hey, it's not you, it's me. I'm on a very strict diet right now, so I've got to bring my own food. I'm going to enjoy this whole evening with y'all. I'm just going to eat my own food. I would be very, very careful and use that only as a last resort. Tip number two, pick your poison. For me, that means I prioritize the indulgences that are available to me around the holiday season. There's just a couple of things that I really, really want to do around the holiday, and I can kind of let go of the rest. So I prioritize these two things cinnamon rolls and eggnog. These are two staples I love to have on Christmas morning and that's it. And while I'm at it, I will savor that indulgence. I'll eat it very slowly. I'll sip the eggnog very slowly so that I can just really take it in and enjoy it and allow myself the freedom to do that as opposed to mindlessly jamming all of that down into my system. Another thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and skip the snacks that I don't really like anyway. For example, I'm sitting around the table with a bunch of people and maybe there's some nuts or pretzels or something in the middle of the table and everyone's just sort of mindlessly snacking. I'll try to catch myself and not do something like that because I don't really like nuts or pretzels that much. So I don't want to indulge in something that I don't really, really like. And before we jump into the next tip, you should grab yourself or a loved one a melon hat. This is my new favorite hat. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for the holidays. This one is perfect for cold weather. It's made out of water resistant merino wool with a hand waxed Napa leather bill and a moisture wicking lining for guys like me that sweat even in the cold. Melon has amazing hats. And if you use my link, melon.com forward slash Jason, you can show your support for this channel. Save 20%, grab yourself a hat. Tip number three, drink water, not calories. Drinking calories, especially during the holiday season where it's really easy, can be really dangerous. You can overshoot your daily caloric intake in no time. We're talking alcohol, hot chocolate, juices, and my favorite, eggnog. So those drinks are gonna be out there and you're gonna find them a lot during the holidays. One of the things I like to do is I like to substitute carbonated water like Topo Chico instead of alcohol at parties. And while everyone else has something like that in their hand, I can just hold my own drink in my hand and not be consuming a bunch of calories. And that's not to say that I'm not gonna partake in some fun around the holidays. I'll probably have a glass of wine or two. And if I do, I'll savor that, make it last a long time. And in between drinks, I'll make sure that I drink an entire carbonated water or a big glass of water to slow down the entire intake process. Tip number four, hold the line. So what I try to do when I approach the holidays is hold the line, not fall off track. Oftentimes it looks different than my regular routine, but if I'm traveling somewhere, I'm gonna try to find a CrossFit gym that I can drop into. I'm gonna try to do that ahead of time. I do that all the time because I live in an RV. And if I'm driving somewhere, I'm just gonna grab one of my dumbbells and a jump rope. I can come up with dozens of workouts that I could do in a small space with just one dumbbell and a jump rope, super simple. And if I don't have any of that available to me, I've got a couple of bodyweight workouts that are my go-to workouts. For example, I've done 250 air squats for time on a beach. I've done 150 burpees for time at 14,000 feet in the Himalayas. I've got a couple of workouts in the description below that you can do wherever you're at. Around the holidays, I find that I get pretty stressed, pretty anxious, and sometimes a bit depressed. But cold exposure has been shown to be a natural and effective way to improve mood. So get one of these ice barrels. You can use my link, icebarrel.com forward slash Jason Grubb to save $125 and start using this thing. And in fact, if you have people over for the holidays, you should have them jump in this thing too to improve everybody's mood. And tip number five, what I like to do during the holidays is actually relax, which is something that's really hard for me to do. I like to make a little time for myself so I actually take a break. So rather than just making coffee at home and enjoying that, which I love, I'll go out to a coffee shop and just spend a little bit of time thinking, reflecting, and obviously enjoying a great cup of coffee. I generally think of the holidays as a deload from the grind, from pursuing everything that I pursue right here in my business and in my training as well. It's a time where I get to turn off and just tune out for a bit, and it's a really good deload for my central nervous system. 
Tip number six, get more sleep. During the holidays, as it is a time for me to deload and chill out, if I'm traveling, I try to plan ahead on my sleep, trying to go to bed earlier or sleep in a little bit later. I want to come back from the holidays feeling absolutely refreshed and ready to take on life. And I may even get into a habit of getting more sleep than I need, which is never a bad thing. Tip number seven, stay the course. For me, when I slow down and I go through the holidays, I have this weird tendency to want to like set fire to everything and change everything in my life going into the new year. I know it's common for humans to do that, but I really want to do that every year. Like, all right, I'm going to try something absolutely new. I'm going to work out like crazy in this new year in order to blank, blank, blank. Oh, hey, everyone. I am officially streamlining the efficiency of this corporation. Second. Second. I, yes. Second, Toby. Second, I am insisting on increased accountability from every single one of you. Account, Michael, what's going on? And I will be taking questions. So this year, I'm reminding myself that my success has come from consistent daily effort while aiming in a specific direction. It's not some magic pill or overnight effort. It's a long, slow journey. And it is okay to make slight tweaks along the way. But for me, no giant, major, crazy changes right now. Tip number eight, savor this time. For me, I don't let myself slow down very often. One, if I'm really sick and I can't get out of bed, that'll do it. Or two, during Thanksgiving, during Christmas, those longer weekends, I'll really allow myself to chill out and relax, be grateful for my health, my wellness, and for those around me. And it's just a nice time to do that. Rich Roning, yes. one fitness tip for the holidays. Consistency, just do something every day. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can be completely body weight. It can be a mini like pump session, no equipment, whatever you have, but just move with 30 minutes a day. It's really good to just keep moving. Simple things like getting 10,000 steps a day, take a walk with your family, and just stay active through the holidays. It is time to decompress and relax and chill out, but that doesn't mean we don't move. It's just built in us, it's ingrained that we have to do something. So keep doing something, keep moving. It'll feel great and you'll be ready to get back into high gear after the holidays are over. <laughs>